Okay, so the batting, the meat of our quilting sandwich. It is very important and I'm gonna give you some tips on uh, what to buy so you're confident when you go to the store and pick out what you need. I know it can be tempting on your very first quilt to just go in the store, fabric store, and just grab the first batting that you see and buy it. But I wanna tell you, um, it is very important which batting you pick because it is gonna make a big difference um, on the end result, the look of your quilt. So it is really something to, to choose deliberately and carefully. And there are a couple things that I do want you to keep in mind. Um, first of all, I want you to look at the thickness of the batting, what we call the loft. Um, there are different thicknesses of batting. This is a higher loft batting. These are thinner loft battings. I've chosen a thinner loft batting for my quilt, for my baby quilts that I stitched up because I really like that kind of flat, sort of crinkly vintage look. That really fits my aesthetic and my style. So I picked a flatter batting, um, but there are also sort of, you know, puffier options as well. So that's something to consider and be aware of. All battings are not the same. There are very, very thin and very, very thick puffy options, and they're gonna look very different in your quilt. A thinner batting um, is just gonna be a lot more flat and it's gonna have less puckering and less puffiness. A thicker, higher loft batting, like this wool here or this polyester that I have, um, is gonna be a lot more puffy. Um, let me show you what I mean here. I'll put this wool, it's a little bit of a higher loft in my quilt sandwich here so you can kind of see when we put our ties in, it's just gonna pucker a little more, a little more kind of like a pillow right there. You're gonna have more puckering around. So keep that in mind um, in terms of what, what loft you choose and what look you're going for with your quilt. I really love working with cotton. I love natural fibers for my batting, so I usually, I use cotton more often than not. I really love just a thin, classic cotton batting, but wool is really beautiful and great to work with as well. Sometimes there can be special washing requirements, so you do wanna make sure that you read the instructions um, on the manufacturer has provided you on the, on the, um, on the packaging to make sure that the washing is gonna be appropriate for for what you're expecting. Um, so cotton and wool, there's also polyester, and polyester as a synthetic man-made material um, does behave a little bit differently than a man-made material in a batting. First of all, it's not gonna shrink and it's not gonna flatten at all over time. So the thickness, that puffiness of a polyester batting, it's going to stay that puffy even after years of use. So keep that in mind. Some people really don't prefer that look. Personally, I just really like the thin kind of look. I don't like um, a puffier sort of quilt look. Some people do. Just keep it in mind. It's important to consider. The other thing that I want you to keep in mind, and you're going to need to read the, the, the manufacturer's instructions on your packaging here, is you want to pay attention to how far apart, how dense the manufacturer is recommending that you quilt or tie your quilt. Because um, that does make a difference in the longevity of your quilt. You don't want it to fall apart. You want to make sure that you purchase a batting that's appropriate for the distance. So um, this batting here, this cotton that I got, it says we, we can stitch as far as 10 inches apart. So that's going to be a perfect option for this baby quilt for putting our ties far apart. This polyester batting here recommends quilting distance two to four inches. That's pretty close. It's telling us we need to, we need to have stitches at least every two to four inches in order for that batting to stay intact over time. That's not really going to be an appropriate choice for this quilt because we're not going to be doing a lot of dense ties or quilting. We're going to kind of be doing sparse ties.